Okay, folks, how are you doing today? Welcome back to another episode of Baking Geek. Um, we're making quiche Lorraine today, so this is something, if, you, if you've ever worked in a patisserie or a big kitchen, um, this is the job that the pastry chefs normally do, not the regular chefs, and it's quite often we'll do one, mid, you know, while we're working just so we've got something to eat. Anyway, it's, it's a fun recipe. It's it's a very simple recipe and it's very hard to stuff up, truthfully. Um, yeah, let's go, let's go, go to get on with it. Okay, first you've got to make your pastry up. I'm going to flash the recipe up on the screen. Um, it involves um, flour, obviously, yeah, uh, salt and butter. What we're going to do is we're going to fold our butter through our flour first. Um, that will make the pastry short and then we're just going to put a little bit of water in at the end. I've already done that So like I said, you can do this in a mixer. You can do this in a food processor. It doesn't matter There's only a little bit of water at the end that you have to add. So go ahead do the do the um, quiche dough and then um, Pop it in the fridge. I've had this in the fridge probably about two hours. It's set nice and hard um, so we're going to roll that out and get that into our quiche mold and then we're going to talk about what we're going to, how we're going to fill our quiche. Alright, so let's get ahead with it. First we need some, dust, some dusting flour. Right, lots of that. So we're just going to roll it out. Hopefully you haven't overworked your dough. That's, that's quite often a problem. And you want to keep your pastry moving. Turn it over. Okay, so you don't want it too thin, you don't want it too thick, you want it sort of just right. Bit of the Goldilocks zone sort of thing. Anyway, here we go. Put the mould on, that looks just about right. That should sort of get us somewhere. Now, if I had to tell you how thick this was, it'd probably be about three millimeters, something to that effect. Okay, that's fairly even. Right, now we're just gonna give our mold a quick spray. But generally, um, this is the sort of pastry, this might stick to your mold. Um, but we're gonna give it a quick spray anyway. With canola oil spray, do that one. We're in the sink, there we go. So we've got our mold, we've got our pastry, just like that. And just get it in there. Now what you want to do is push it down into the corners, okay? Make sure it's nice and square. Doesn't matter if it overlaps at the moment because we're going to cut that off shortly. Okay, there we go. I think we're in. That looks good. Just get the back of your knife and just run it around your quiche mold or even the sharp end if you like. Just like that. There we go. You've got a bit of pastry left over for next time, or you can do a couple of smaller ones with that. Never throw the pastry out, but it's all good stuff. There we go, so our quiche is now lined. Um, let's go get the filling ready. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back folks. I've got the um, quiche lined. Okay, let's just maybe adjust it on that. I'll leave it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start filling our quiche. Um, we're gonna start out with some cheese. So, there's a lot of dairy in this. I hope you're not dairy, lactose intolerant. Anyway, got some leftover cheese here. Just gonna put a nice layer on the bottom. Okay, here we go. Look, you can, you can if you want to blind bake your quiche, but honestly, I've never done that. It doesn't turn out raw or anything silly like that. So anyway, you've got your um, cheese on the bottom of it. Don't be scared, put lots in. Everyone likes cheese. Okay, uh, people here it says. All right, and I bought some nice bacon, already pieced up. Okay, 
There we go. Just pop all that in. That looks like a good amount. The other thing I'm going to use in this is a bit of spring onion. Okay, so get you a spring onion like that. We're just going to do that. that Okay, there we go. Let's get some greenery into it. It's going to add to the colour. Right. I think we're just about almost ready to make our quiche custard. Right, so. Okay, now what you're going to do at the end, you've got cheese on the bottom, you've got all your filling in between and we're going to put some more cheese on top. I've seen some people do this where they actually put all the ingredients into the quiche custard but we're going to keep all these separate today so there we go, so a little bit of cheese on top, there we go. That can go away. Now we're going to start making our custard. Let's start talking about our custard. This is something I learned in the UK years ago, so I'm, I'm using pints here in my head. Okay, so uh, the basic ruling is four eggs to a pint. So a pint equates to 450 ml. Okay, so we're going to go 450. That's about right there. And we're going to, these are four fairly large size eggs. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, as long as you, as long as you've got the basic sort of um, recipe fairly close, it doesn't matter the size of the eggs. You're not going to blow it out, it's only just going to thicken up a little bit more. Right, that's our four eggs. The other thing that I do to help this thing along is I put, it's about it's about 100 grams worth of flour. So this flour will actually help. So that's two tablespoons I've put in there. And I'm also going to chuck some nutmeg in it because nutmeg is really great with this. And we're going to season it with salt and pepper. Peppercorn here and some nice fresh salt. There we go. So just get the whisk into that. Hopefully, you don't get any flour ones. Alright, this is going to be a quick episode, folks. I'll tell you what, this, this stuff you can knock up in minutes and it's a great treat for family. If you've got any leftovers in your fridge, it doesn't matter. You've got, you've got leftover meat from a barbecue, you can shove it into a quiche. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to pour it into our shell. And this is about a 22 centimetre sized quiche, I'd say. And I'll tell you what, I think I've hit it, hit the nail right on the head. That's almost the perfect. You want to stop just short of the top because the quiche itself will come up. In, in, into it and then once it's actually cooled down it will settle down um, so yeah you're going to pop that into the oven straight away I'm always going to use a tray just in case there's a little bit of leakage but the pastry is very short and there should not be any leakage one thing more for the top some paprika it's always nice just give it that color on the top here we go okay we're done now it's going to go in the oven for about I'd say I'd say 45 minutes something to that effect and then you're going to cool it down for another 30 minutes after that after which it will be ready to eat okay guys so I'm going to come back once it's out of the oven we'll see you later Okay guys, we're back and it's been a little bit over an hour actually. I was wrong in my estimate of 45 minutes. Uh, just depends on the thickness of the quiche dish, I guess. Um, so here we are. So if your quiche looks like this at the end of it, nice, nice, nice like that. Yeah, you've done well. All right, okay. 
So, like I said, it's, it's pulled away from the sides, the pastry is done right. It's a good recipe. Yeah, I used to do this one in the kitchen all the time. Everyone used to love it. Anyway, guys, give it a go. I'm going to flash the recipe up on the screen so there's no more need to talk about it. Hit the like button. I'll see you next time. Bye.